faces. Yeah, <laughs> she, yeah, it did, really, yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to just run the first one at full speed and uh, let you feel what you see. And my computer is trying to do a bunch of other work. It's not supposed to when I'm doing this. I'm not sure why. So that's why it was jerky. Do it again. Do not do any other work. Do this work. I want you to do. That's better. So when I look at this, I get pretty excited because there's so many good parts, and I have to go. Okay, but you have to be cool once in a while. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So everybody in the world has to get the bowling ball past their hips mm -hmm. or leg twice. You zips when it's a two-handed bowler and leg when it's a one-handed Okay. And you want the arm swing to travel north and south. You do not want it to go east and west. That's ideal. In a perfect world, that's what we'd have. Right. So I can see too much of the bowling ball right now for my happiness. Okay. Just for starters. So I'm going to put you in motion. And I thought you took five steps. You took four. It's the first is a hesitation step. I do kind of take five, but it's kind of like a move forward. Oh, it's forward. a fudge. Yeah, it's a very. It's a four. It's a it's a fudge fork. Yeah, and sometimes it's a full five steps and if I need to take a longer. That's a step. seriously short step. Yes. <laughs> So your arm swing is going to occur during three steps. So when the ball's right here, at that point right there, you're already in serious trouble. Right. So what is going to happen when I say serious trouble for a top player, I don't have enough body lean right, I don't have the shoulder drop down enough, I'm just putting a line here to give you a comparison. Mm -hmm. Ball's outside the line, it's just on the edge of it right there. Now it's on the other side of the line. That's east and west. That step is just great. Okay. You have enough body lean right now to have, it's not enough to, to get the ball past your body, but it's, it's, it was helped a lot by this last step. Whoops. So you got, well, you got 19 degrees. It only takes 20. To drop okay. the ball in a straight line right next to the body without hitting the body. Providing I have my hand on the outside of the ball. Which you do. See where your fingers are? Your fingers are on the inside of the ball. Uh -huh. Very smart. Okay. <laughs> that makes the ball much smaller. Imagine if your fingers were right there, you wouldn't have to deal with that at all, would you? If your fingers were completely inside, that would put your fingers against your leg and the whole ball is being on the outside of that. It would pass much easier, wouldn't it? Right. As opposed to having someone who has their fingers on this side of the ball, Carrying always has a problem, body. yes. So just uh, one of those little observations that I had that I just went, well, that's really good, that's good stuff. All right. So right now the ball's behind your back. So the only way to do this is th there's there's no way to get it really really tight to your ankle from here mm -hmm. without running over your knee. <laughs> you really do a good job of getting that foot over. <laughs> that <is> so good. <laughs> I lied. Because here's the thing that everybody has to do. You got to get this foot on the balance beam plus a board or two to get it close. So you just slide it underneath you. And I can see it appear over here about our, but see the knee ducking out of the way? Uh-huh. Watch your knee in it. You got black pants on it. If you could watch your knee right now, it, it sees the ball coming and goes, oh my God, duck! Like, get out of the way! Duck! <laughs> you know who the other great famous duck knee bowler is on the PBA Tour? I don't know. Norm Duke. Oh, oh yeah, okay. He is a serious duck knee. Okay, I'll have to pay attention to that next time I watch it. I'll show it to you. Okay. 
So that's how you manage to get it close, is you just head up for your knee and you duck it out of the way. That's Straight out. Seriously, <laughs> seriously difficult. What it does to you is, your slide becomes so critical to you. Yes. If you don't slide right, your game is hard. Yes. And the reason is, is because when this knee ducks out of the way, Right now, all the weight's on that front side foot. Yes. There's no help coming from back here. Right. It just has lost all support system. You might have two or three percent helping, but everything's on that front side foot. So the truth is, it has to be perfect because you've got the ball still behind your leg. And I'm going to do a split screen here, and I want to show you this. I'm off the clock, sir. You're off the clock? Yeah. You're resting? Yes. Okay. We're good. Yeah, I reached my limit. Yeah, no. Perfect. Okay. I haven't turned off my brain yet. I'm listening. Yeah, you can. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Okay, so right here, I just, I'm in love with you right here. I'm just going. <laughs> it is so good. And the reason is, is because your nose is out in front of your knees, your shoulders are over your knees. And I want your nose to be the first thing to arrive to the foul line. And you're just as late as Deandra is here. You're pretty good company with her. <laughs> yeah, she, uh, she, she gets through the ball really good. Well, I'm your timing and her timing are almost the same. You're even later than she is, which I didn't really think was possible. <laughs> But this slide is too much. Okay. I'm looking for the foul line. <laughs> okay. So what happens is, right here, as that slide foot attempts to get to the foul line, it pulls your hips with it. Yes. So all of that beautiful lean that you got forward with your shoulders, watch your hips go forward and your shoulders go back. See that little uh -huh. shot? That's okay. never good. Okay. And now what happens is, is you get into that slide position and the brain can panic right there and pull on the ball. If that shoulder pulls down on this bowling ball, you go right through the break point yep. and the ball never even thinks about making the turn there. Yeah. And then you over rotate here. Uh-huh. Just slight little things yeah. based on... I mean, now, all those your... things I can relate to doing, absolutely. I've done them all. <laughs> <laughs> Many times. Repeatedly, yeah. Yes. yeah. Repeatedly. So, that's why I put the two screens up, is because it doesn't show here, but it sure does show here. Through doing exactly the same thing. So you move up really, really close, and you take litty bitty bitty steps, and then you're too far from the foul line when it gets time to slide. Not funny. Yeah, isn't that amazing? Yeah. And you will not believe the wrestling match I had with Deander over this exact position here. Okay, so how did how did you help correct that and solve that? Blood, sweat, and tears. Okay. I had to try to, actually what I did is I got Kelly Kulik and I said, you want to continue to let Kelly whip your butt? And I just looked at her like this. Because she owns you. She beats you for the queens. Well, you showed me 143 the first time. That wasn't real good. And that sort of woke her up. And so I put Kelly on here and I said, look, look, look. So where we got Dan at? Let's see. I'm out of time. Let me save this.